Yeah. I would rather. Okay. So speaking of financial literacy and how I'm coming, uh, oh shit! You said <laughs> melanin is 350 and G. How I, how did you know that? Okay, so Google <laughs> is your friend. Google is your friend. You just, so you just right on the Google that. Man, I say, hey, it's, it's, I know little bits of information, and that's why I can do the things that I can do. Like, it's not that I'm the smartest in anything, but I know a lot of random things, and I'm always somehow equate just the fact that I'm putting my attention to it. So I found that out, and I ain't gonna lie, I had a good explanation for this because you know how rappers be lying. It's really 450 and G. <laughs> rappers be lying. So I said, why would I take the full road? <laughs> 450 and G. But nah, though, I did the math and the first research that I did, it said 350. Then I looked it up again just on some random shit because when I first looked it up, I found out it was 350, wrote it down and kept it pushing. I wanted to check my facts because, you know, like we, we learning every day. So like, ironically, I learned that it went up or it went down. Like, I mean, it went up. It went up. So it's like 450 G now, but I... So we got stock on melanin. Oh, uh, okay. So let me explain it to you, bro. I'm going to explain this to y'all. So basically, it's the person who who was in possession of the melanin. You can be a crash dummy worth millions. It could be a crash dummy worth millions. Because you're not you're living to your full potential. So like, 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 okay, like, so how much melanin is in the average African-American? I don't know. So my currency was basically based off of weight. I don't even lie to you. That's how I looked at it, bro. Basically, it's the person, right? Mm -hmm. So, if that person is, is anywhere between, shit, four pounds and to however big people get. Mm -hmm. Like, shit, that's how much they work. You got to be able to carry this shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Most babies come in, millionaires. I mean, shit, most of us are born over four pounds. Right. So, like, like especially when you, when you produce a certain amount of melanin, it's up to you to live into that potential. So why would you say melanin is worth so much? Why would I say oh, shit? I ain't what I say shit. I think I'm I think I'm priceless. You can't even put a number on me. I have to go off with these standards. So I feel like a lot of different yeah. things are priceless. But but like okay, that's what I looked up. That's the information I looked up. So I'm gonna put it like this. It's it's funny what you can do with numbers. Matter of fact, it's simple. You can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Like that's what we do with numbers as people. Like mm -hmm. that's what we do. Hey, uh, if you could sell your melanin. Oh, shit. Why would I do that? Would, you, do, about, would you sell it? I mean, technically, I'll put it like this. Okay, so when you say sell my melanin, do you mean like to be for it to be extracted out of me? Yeah. And I won't no longer have it? Yeah. Nah, little by little, when you get, you get closer and closer to the white, the more and more. Ah, oh, no, that ain't for me then. I mean, <laughs> okay, so life goes on, man. So this is it's deeper than money. We hustlers. We all paid. <laughs> we hustlers. Now we all. It's deeper than money. Let me tell you about your skin. The fact that you brown skin or you have some type of melanin in you means that you're protected from the sun. The sun is meant to not. It's, it's meant to create life, but you know what's the opposite of life? Hmm. So uh, we 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 damn like God gave us the uh, material to, to last, you know. And even if we don't do it, our children get to do it in some weird way. That's kind of us doing it. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like real big on my my history, my culture. You know, mm -hmm. like for real, for real, like I look in the mirror and I really see a king. I'm like, mm, I had to be like, had to be. So you, so you is into your real big, real into your history, your culture. I mean, shit. I look in the mirror and I mean, shit. It's on me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put like this. Like it, it's so on me that I get looked at a certain type of way because of people's fears. You know, you know, it's on me though. It's, it's evident. Why 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 run from it? Alright, alright. Uh, like in the How I'm Coming video, you oh. also had on the big oh, African chain. This is like the big cross with the beads and the, the big loop on the top. Well, what can you explain that to me? What what is that? So I'm glad you brought that up and I wish I could have showed y'all because this is what this is for. So apparently that's called a unk. It's spelled U N K mm -hmm. and it represents life. It represents like like, bro, I really wish I could show y'all, bro, because like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, it is, it's a, okay, so apparently that's where they got the cross from. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay. like, for real, for real. They like, got they, the cross from that. They got the cross from that, bro. Like, some people, they be on weirdo shit, bro. Like, they don't want, like, they look at women a certain type of way. So the top part represents the woman, and the bottom part represents the man. You know, it sticks out. So, you feel me? Like, that's what they got. Nah, for real, bro. Like, this shit crazy, bro. Like, like and I was like this, bro. Like, like, bro, I'm not with no slander, but I ain't never thought the cross was... I'm like, why do people walk around with a cross? Like, they said, because Jesus died on the cross. 
I'm like, I don't think Jesus would like that if he came back. Like, he had just, like, this is what he got murdered on, and y'all just walking around with it. Like, and y'all his people. Like, yeah, that's, that's like, yeah. Maybe I'm tripping, but come on, dog. Like, I always thought this way as a child, too, so I don't really get to tell people. It's like, uh, I never really, like, when I'm shooting music videos, like, yeah, I yeah. never really hear the song until I'm editing the video. Okay. And then, like, I was editing your first video, and I noticed the Nipsey wall, and then I, like, listened to the song, and I was like, he giving me Nipsey vibes, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like, preaching on it, like, so, like. Is that the vibe you go for, or is there a specific vibe you go for, or you just literally just hop on the beat and you just, whatever, come out, come out? Man, so I'm going to tell you something. What I learned about people is you can't speak for another person. However, I feel like some of us are vibrating at the same, different. we, we vibrating at the same level. It's only like, in the highest level, it's God, you feel me? Some people call him Yahweh. It's like, it's, it's like a vibe, it's like a frequency, bro, that you reach, bro. So, like, I do try to uh, obtain the highest form of it. Like, I try not to get on the song and bullshit, like, like I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning the business aspect. You feel me? Yeah. Like I'm just now learning that. Yeah. So like, I think like we all, like bro, it's, it's levels to this shit, man. You say Nipsey vibes, I was doing me. Yeah. I appreciate that too because like Nip Nipsey was a, uh, he was a solid individual. You know? Nah, you kind of be dropping game and preaching and shit like that on your records. Uh, so like, do do you feel like your music's inspired by anybody or when you say inspired by anybody, what do you mean? Like, is there anybody that you listen to or something that you like that you may take bits and pieces from mm. or that molded your music? Nah, but I do read books, though. So I got this song called Better Days. Well, I'll take that back. I got Better Days from Tupac. Mm. Tupac got this song called Better Days, and I kind of use his book, but I actually added to it as well. Mm. So uh, the song goes, like, Tupac version is Better Days, Better Days, and I kind of did that on the same way, but... I be reading books, so I get my knowledge. I read like like I done read two books this year so far. It's called My Grandmother's Hands, and I read the African Proverbs. I'm actually reading Gucci book too as well. I've been reading it for a while, and like one part that stuck out to me, his he said his daddy said that uh, I don't I don't I he said something about never need a nigga or a bitch, and I'm like, man, that's hard as fuck. Like I like Gucci, I ain't gonna lie, Gucci and him, he's somewhere in the top list. Gucci hard as fuck. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Not so, for real. <laughs> like for real though, like so like. Yeah, man, like, I, I get most of my, I try to get my information from books, or, like, what I'm inspired by, like, like, like I said, I just told you, yeah, I got a, I got a hook from Tupac and something from the book, my Gucci. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's and I just, So, a little bit of everything inspires your music. Yeah, life, I ain't gonna lie, better days, like, I was going through some shit, still going through some shit, you feel me, I think everybody going through some shit. So, so you jammed Tupac? Oh, not really, but, I mean, shit, he cool, he a Gemini, 